everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. A few nights after I became a Christian, I was laying in bed and I was talking to God. And I said, God, I don't think I love you. And the reason I don't love you is because I don't think I know you enough. And you know what beautiful thing happened? God started talking back. And he said, I don't have a son. And I said, what do you mean by you don't have a son? And the popular verse, John 3 verse 16, popped into my mind. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And I said, are you saying that you, you didn't lend your son? Are you saying that you didn't lease him? And oh, that, that made, it made such a profound impression on my heart for the first time. For the first time, I, that night, I fell in love with God. And the next day I went, I went running to my dad and I said, Daddy, can you believe it? God doesn't have a son anymore. He gave his son to us forever and ever. You know, the Apostle Paul in Hebrews chapter 2, he speaks really profoundly about the sacrifice of God through Jesus and the result of that sacrifice. And he says, but we see Jesus made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor that he, by the grace of God, should taste of death for every man. For it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons unto glory to make captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. For both he that sanctifieth, which is Jesus, because he is the one who sanctifieth us, and they who are sanctified are all one. It is just unbelievable, unbelievable that we mortals can be made one with Christ Jesus because of the sacrifice of God and the humility of Christ. For which cause he's not ashamed to call them brethren. So because of the humility of Christ, because of the sacrifice of God, Jesus is not ashamed. He's not ashamed to declare to the universe and to heaven that we are his brothers and sisters. You know, Jesus came to this, he came to this earth for one purpose and one purpose only. And that purpose is to give us the gift of eternal life, to show the world who God is. To show us the heart of God. And so, when he was on the cross and he died, on the third day he rose. And when he rose, he didn't, he didn't rise up as a God. No, he rose. As a man, he rose as a son of God, just like how you and I, when we accept Jesus, we too become sons and daughters of God. And now, because we are sons and daughters of God through the adoption of Jesus, we now have a brother in heaven. Can you believe it? We have a brother in heaven that knows what it is like to be tired, 
that knows what it is like to be weary, that knows what it is like to be disappointed. So when you go to him, when I go to him, I, I feel overjoyed. I feel so happy that when I talk to my brother in heaven, he knows what I'm feeling because he also was on earth and he, he felt the same way. He can identify with my feeling. Isn't it a wonderful thing that we have a brother in heaven? And that through him, when, when God look at us, he doesn't see me anymore. He doesn't look if, if he's seeing faults in me. No, he doesn't look and see, oh, I'm looking to see if I see a fault in you. No, he's looking for one thing. And that one thing is the life of Christ. And so when he looks at you and I, the only requirement is, did you accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Did you allow him to come into your life and build your character and make you and mold you? It is a wonderful thing to have a brother in heaven. You know, Jesus said, he said, I go and prepare a place for you. And there's a promise. He says, one day I will come back. And you know what? I want to live with my brother. I want to meet him one day. I want to meet him one day. And it is possible, it is possible for you and I to meet our big brother one day. And not only, not only will we meet him, but we will get a chance to live with him throughout all eternity. Being joint heirs with Jesus Christ because of the sacrifice and the love of God and the humility of our Savior. So I invite you, I, I invite you to, to, to say yes, to say yes to, to our brother, to say yes, Christ, I will accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. And when you come back, you and I will live together throughout all eternity, hand in hand. Until next time, take care.